Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be using these four decks which I have pre-shuffled for you. This is a weekly reading for September 25th through October 1st. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with you because it's for hundreds of people, hundreds and thousands of people. Um, yeah, so let's see what comes up for you Pisces for this week. For love. What do you have for love? The center of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles. That is security. That's abundance. That's uh, security in your home. Okay. All right, your work. It's being very, very secure. Having, feeling very abundant. That's the, that's the uh, main point of your reading. So this week's reading, I think that you're still focusing more on your job. Okay. Um, it seems like there's some deceiving going on. There's some deceit here. I'm not sure if that's you or somebody else, but there's some kind of deceit going on that causes some hurt, some heartache. Okay. Um, maybe somebody in your, I don't know. I want to I wanna think for a minute before those words come out. But right here we have the two of wands. This is a pretending that something isn't as it is. <laughs> ignoring a situation that you know to be true okay you're ignoring a situation that you know to be true you might it might be causing you a little bit of depression you might be losing sleep over it I think your awareness is right on you know something you know something <laughs> and you haven't really let it out yet but you definitely know something there's been some kind of uh, conflict there's a conflict here with the five of uh, swords what is this there's some kind of disagreement um, there's some tension and it could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a uh, Libra Gemini Aquarius there's definitely some tension all right between two people all right and it's almost like you you thrive on that, okay? Because it's like I see this very exciting energy. Like, this is exciting. You already knew this. Maybe you have a choice between two people. But the basis of your reading still is this Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is your home, which is very, you know, abundant. Here we have the Hanged Man. This is about resisting something resisting a change and you have been resisting a change for some reason i'm not sure why because you didn't want to hurt somebody maybe you didn't want to hurt this taurus virgo capricorn you know you're resisting making a move because you didn't want to hurt somebody or somebody hurt or maybe they hurt you and you're still you know hurt over that <clears throat> You might have a choice between, I do, I do think that you have a choice between two people. Or your partner, <laughs> it could be vice versa because it looks like, you know, it's like you knew something was up. You've been deny in denial, pretending that it wasn't the case, you know, because you didn't want to shake up the security that you have, all right? Um, and you didn't want to cause some hurt or you didn't want to feel some hurt. So there's definitely been some deceit. And I think it's because of another person. You may have a, you know, maybe there's been some cheating going on. I'm saying maybe, okay. There could be a choice between two people. I think that your awareness is high, very, very high. Um, and that you have a lot of... Um, 
I think you're taking action. You have the power to take action, and I think that you are going to take action. Or you're really thinking about taking action this week. We have the world card right up here, which is the completion, but you're resisting it, okay? Because the hangman is underneath it. So you're resisting this completion, and I think it's because of security. You know, you're resisting a change because of security. This is the change. You don't want to shake up the foundation that's been built or something like that. That's what it looks like to me. You know, the foundation was built, and it hurts to break that. That's what it looks like to me. The foundation could have been built with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or, I mean, that's what I see. And you could have somebody new, you know, that's very that's a lot more exciting. Could be a, an air sign. Um, just saying. I see you ignoring a situation, though. You have been ignoring a situation. But the truth might come out with that queen of swords and it might cause some tension there, there it looks like you know there's going to be some tension this week for sure um i think that there's going to be forward movement whereas you can't pretend anymore I, I i do i think that you have a choice between two people and you know there could even be an argument between two people i mean if you have they could come face to face so be careful there could be a, a, a fight of some sort, so just beware. You know, and you might consider it exciting, but it could cause some hurt. I think you have all the power in your hands. That's what I was trying to say earlier, and I couldn't get it out. <laughs> now you have this card twice. Whatever you've been ignoring, whatever you've been pretending or hiding, or who, if somebody could be vice versa is going to come out this is somebody hiding something pretending ignoring and this is the truth coming out right here which causes some tension okay <laughs> now you have the magician again as above so below you have a oneness with the universe okay you do so you have the magician twice. It really reiterates that, that your intuition is high. Very, very high. You know. You know. There's no secrets with you because you know. This might be a time of independence, okay? You do have the two of cups right here, but then you have the nine of coins. This is the independent person, man or woman, who goes at it alone for a little while and starts a foundation they take care of themselves. They're grateful for they ha for what they have. They take time to soul search and live in the beauty of who they are. Okay? So, it looks to me like... Let me get the last card before I keep going. It looks to me like if you were in a union, you may be letting go of somebody that you built, had a strong foundation with. That may be the case. And if you, you know... Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody that has a lot of Earth in their chart. This right here is, and it may, you know, cause you to become independent. And it may be a time of healing. Okay, that's in the future. Because it's over this, this hurt, this heart, this hurt and, you know, sadness and rejection. And it's just, it's really in change. It's going to, it's going to need you are going to need to do some healing by yourself okay it's and you're gonna start a new journey you're gonna have to be willing to start a journey a new journey with faith and trust okay faith and trust in the universe faith and trust in your intuition to just move forward and take a big big risk because this is taking a big risk Okay, to follow your own spiritual path, your own oneness with the universe. Okay, because I think you've been holding back. We have the two of swords twice. You've been holding back. You've pre been pretending. Maybe you've been pretending that you want to be with somebody that you don't really want to be with. I mean, I'm just saying maybe. Okay, but the foundation's been built and now you're kind of like, you know, you don't want to hurt you don't want to hurt yourself and you don't want to hurt them. 
I mean, this is a possible. I see that in the long run, your wishes, it, it heads towards your wishes being fulfilled. This is meant to be. Okay, we have the star card. Okay, that does lead to your wishes being fulfilled. It's like it's a blessing in disguise. Okay, maybe it's a time of renewal for you. The star card also represents renewal. It's a time to, and it is, with this nine of pentacles. It, I believe that it's time for you to do some soul searching. Oh, that card came flying. Ooh, it's an ugly one too. Ah. And you've been pretending that this isn't happening or just ignoring it or in complete denial. I mean, this is a, somebody lying. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Maybe somebody has been pretending that they care about you or you have been pretending that you care about them. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Perhaps you feel like it's not the right thing to do because it's not... Um, you know, it's not the right thing. It's not old school. You know, it's not traditional. It's not what your parents would do. It's not the right thing to do, but it is because you have to do the right thing for you. This situation involves marriage. Maybe somebody wants to get married and you don't or vice versa. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe, um, you're with somebody who's married. I mean, this can mean so many things. Maybe, um, this new journey that you're about to take a risk leads to a marriage. It can mean so many things. Oh, I think that there's been some pretending going on here. This just came up. Somebody is either pretending they love you or you are pretending you love them. And it's all happening because somebody doesn't want to hurt the other person. Oh my God. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. This is not a good reading. I mean, it is. It is because it's obviously somebody needs to hear this. Okay. You know, but obviously um, somebody is wanting out. And it's either you or the other person. Or it doesn't resonate with you at all. <clears throat> I'm going to get you one of my whispers of love and see what comes up. There's just not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. And it's sad if you've built a foundation. And that's where the sadness comes in. It hurts. I love you. I love you. That's what that card says. I'm going to zoom it in and read. It's, it's not a long read. It's a little one. love you. These are very important words. Whether you say this to a pet, a friend, your partner, or yourself, these are the most important words you can say. Don't hold these words in like it will take away their importance. Be willing to say, I love you, often and free freely. These are very important words. What this card came out, as far as I can see, that you need to be with the person that you can say those words to and mean it. 
that's what I have. <sighs> Talk to you later.